You ready to get pure? Yeah, well, this is the Pure BF from BD Vape and Fumitech. Welcome to the Vapor Trail channel. I'm Tony. Today we're looking at this little beauty right here. This one comes from, you know, I'm kind of not exactly sure. Fumitech, I believe, is a French company. Fumitech would be the parent company to BD Vape. And just a real quick look at this right here. It says here, BD Vape, Fumitech's high-end division was founded by Bruce and David, two vape addicts. With their strong experience, they working together on originals and qualitative creations. The goal to create and offer high-end stuff at the best price. And yeah, mods like this, I've seen them, you know, on Facebook groups and stuff like that for around three, four hundred dollars. And I think they're selling this for $125. That's pretty darn good. And that's not to say that those Facebook mods aren't worth it. I've got a couple and I, I they're great. But this is this is a nice option for somebody who just can't afford that liquid that i'm using today is marshmallow cereal milk yeah it's lucky bird this one comes from the bird people and man i just this stuff i've been vaping it for a long time and if there's something i can vape every day and still enjoy it over time that's definitely something to look at if you like the cereals which i do obviously it's basically like a lucky charms now right now i believe this is the only version of it that's available the white delrin which i am a sucker for white delrin and it's oh it's just so smooth and nice the way that this thing feels in the hand is very nice but they do have an Ultim version of it and they have two different colors of stab wood that I've seen now they use t6 sandblasted aluminum for the you know for the tube and for the top and bottom caps and all that kind of stuff and the bottle that's in here is a 10 mil bottle now that is something that is kind of a point of contention because I had seen Grim Green's video on this and I was like oh man that's really cool and then he had a problem with the bottle and apparently the design on the bottle wasn't great well they have fixed that and they sent me the redesigned I guess the version 1.5 bottle I that's what I'm using in here. And it doesn't have that issue anymore where the top was popping off every time you'd squonk it. So I'll show you that. Now, from what I understand, all the contacts and stuff in here are also kept separate by peak insulators and stuff. So that's nice to know too. Something that they point out is that you can actually loosen the battery terminal here. You can loosen that so that the battery is not making contact and you know if you want to put it in your bag or whatever but you should really take that battery out if you're you know going to transport it or anything like that so the box on this thing is pretty simple high-end line of fumitech that is bd vape and it did come with some parts and i don't know what i did with that little bag now it's got a extra contact in there a spring extra o-rings and stuff which i think is that's actually pretty nice it should be really easy to take apart basically two screws and the whole thing should just kind of slide apart I have not done so yet, but you know, a lot of people with these mechanical type squonks, they like to be able to take them apart and clean them. And of course they give you those extra parts. Maybe they are in here. Well, you get an extra bottle in case you want to use one of these kind of darker bottles. Yeah, and then you get a little bag and in this bag, you've actually got an extra contact in there. You can see that little contact in there, extra O-rings and seals and different pieces and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Kind of future proofing it and giving you stuff for maintenance. There are two cards inside of the box. This one right here is basically your serial number. And then this one gives you all the, the quick facts on it. It's uh, not much to know here. Now this little bottle right here is where the extra bottle that they sent me was that had the 1.5 bottle in there. So we're not gonna worry about what's in there right now. I'm using the Cyclone Mod Citadel on here. And really it's, while you can fit a larger atomizer on here, 22 millimeters is really, that's that's the size that you wanna put on here. So once again, aluminum there, aluminum here, up here at the top. And then let's show you this bottle, okay? Because this is pretty cool. So this pops out like that. And then the bottle turns, you'll see that there's little teeth right there. The bottle turns and you can pull it out. Do like this, just like that. All right, so it's encased in this little aluminum thing. And in the previous one, this did not screw on. It just pressure fit in there. And sometimes when you'd push the bottle, this would just pop right off. Well, they fixed that and they made it now so that that screws on. It just seems like such an easy fix. There we go. And then you fill it in one of those two holes. So it's a top fill bottle just like that. Boom, done. And if you want to replace the bottle, you can unscrew this right here and then take the pieces off of the bottle itself. There is a metal tube inside of there, but it has not been a problem at all. There we go, just like that. Yeah, sometimes the straw being metal, I guess it was when you had to do the thing where you pushed it up and the metal thing stayed as part of the mod. I didn't like that. But in this instance, it's actually working real good. Now what you can do is you can put the bottle in here a different way and then turn it like that so that the bottle won't squonk when it's inside your bag or whatever. And then if you want it to squonk, you just pull it out and you turn it again and put it in and then turn it like that. 
pretty easy and it looks just nice and clean doesn't it got your serial number down there a uh, single 18650 you know, some people are going to say nope that's not going to do it for me and i get it but in the world of squonking especially over in europe they're still using a lot of single 18650 squonks this is something they should have given you an extra one though because you know it's like i've actually dropped this in the kitchen and it's gone under the counter a couple of times i'm like dang it but i do like that they have this thing open so it's like a big vent there we go inside the battery tube you can see the contact up in there and they do give you an extra one of those contacts put that in like that there we go fully mechanical there are no electronics in here whatsoever you push that button right there and it's going to push the contact over which hits the contact that is connected to the atomizer and boom there we go now this is not the best build that i have in here right now i was just testing out some different builds but you know i had time today to do this video so i thought let's go ahead and do it to me this is pretty much a right hand mod because that's how you hold it but i suppose you could hold it in your left hand like this and fire with your finger that kind of thing but you know if you hold it like this and you just hit your thumb i use this part of my thumb right here and hit your thumb thumb on it it works out quite nicely just it feels so good in the hand and i love this material the white delrin is just so nice so just on the sheer looks of this thing when i saw it all over social media i was like dang that thing does look good i mean the curves on this thing are just they're really beautiful and they fit in the hand perfectly the squonk hole at first i thought that looked a little bit small but it's just perfect for your finger to just slide right in there i love that you can turn this thing around so that you can block off that squonk hole basically making it so it won't keep squonking while it's inside your bag or something like that you can back out the battery cap if you just want to you know make sure it's not going to fire in your pocket or something like that but i would really recommend if you're it's not something you want to carry around in your pocket too much because that button right there pushing against your pants or your leg it could hit that and fire easily now one thing i think i forgot to show you is the top there and the even the 510 is it's a nice 510 it's a it's got the custom inscribing on it and all that stuff it says bd vape from fumi tech and pure bf right on the top and there is an o-ring that's on there so that helps to keep the liquid from seeping out there sometimes you get just condensation and stuff and that that will help with that plus it is it's not a spring-loaded pin that's in there it's done with o-rings so so it is self-adjusting. You can put whatever atomizer on there. You should be able to put whatever atomizer on there without having to worry about whether it's going to uh, make contact or not, and you don't have to adjust it. I've got a Sony VTC5A in here right now and a Citadel from Cyclone Mods on top of it. it it's, that is like the perfect look for me. It looks really good on there. It's If you go bigger, I put bigger atomizers on here. It just doesn't look quite as good. My build on here kind of sucks though right now. I've been experimenting and this is a fatter wire with less wraps and yeah, I mean, it's not the greatest build, but I had time, like I said, to do this video today. So I wanted to do it. Yeah, the build performs fine. It's just not my best build that I've had in here. It's got really good conductivity. It fires really well for me. There's really nothing that I can complain about. If I had gotten it when, like in the shape that Grim Green did, when the bottle would just kind of pop, the little top would pop right off because it was just press fit in there. I would have been pretty upset. I'm like, what a great mod, but I can't use it. So that new bottle, the version 1.5 is what's shipping with it now. And I think that if you purchased one before, I don't even know if they were actually available when they had that previous bottle in there yet for public consumption. They were just sending them out for reviews. But I think if you did get one with that old bottle in there, you'd probably contact them. They'll probably get you hooked up with that. Now, while other mods that I've seen on Facebook groups and stuff that might be similar to this might cost 300 bucks and they're totally worth it. This one sells for 125 bucks. So that is really good. Now I know this Stabwood version is going to be around $200. They have an Ultim version and stuff, but yeah, the Pure, it's just, it's so nice being white like that. I love that. And the shape of it, mm, man, it is, that that is nice. It's super comfortable. Even with this not so great build in here, this thing is still producing plenty of vapor. The flavor is great because this is a great RDA, but I've had better builds in here and it, it does chuck, man. It does a really good job. I wish I could say I had one of these to give away, but I don't. They sent one and I was just happy to get it. It's a really nice little mod. I enjoy it. I believe they're now on sale and they do have a website. Also, their Instagram account is very active. That's probably where I would look if you're interested in finding out more details about it. And they're also very proactive to responding to messages. So if you send them one, you have a question, they'll probably get you 
hooked up. But yeah, that's a pure BF. I'm digging it, man. I'm liking it a lot. Hey, I want to thank you so much for your support here on the channel. Likes, comments, shares, subscriptions, all very important. And if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, there's a red subscribe button down there. And then there's a little notification bell. If you click both of those, then you'll get notifications when I upload new videos and give you chances to score. I also have links down there for Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Instagram. If you have one of those social media accounts, I'd appreciate a follow. And advocacy. There are links down there for advocacy. I do it on every video. Uh, a very important one is august8.org. It allows you to send letters directly to your legislators based on your zip code. All you got to do is add a little bit of your personal story to the form letter that's created, and you can do it seven days a week if you want to. You know, right now we've got new legislators in there, or newish legislators in there, and I think it's important to let them know that this has gotten you off of cigarettes, that this is keeping you off of cigarettes, and you want this to be around as an option to others that may not want to smoke cigarettes but can't get rid of the nicotine habit. And speaking of nicotine, check out the link down there for You Don't Know Nicotine, new documentary from the people that did A Billion Lives. They really support this community, and I think this is going to be a great film for the community. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. We'll catch you next time on the Vapor Trail channel.